How You Can Achieve Anything, Zen Motivational Story, Buddhist Teachings. Have you ever wondered how you can achieve anything in life by embracing simplicity and inner peace? In this story, we follow a young boy named Koji, living in a quaint village, who sets off on a daring journey up a towering hill to seek the wisdom of a legendary Zen master. What he discovers not only transforms his life, but reveals profound truths about patience, mindfulness, and the true path to success. Join us on The Journey of Wisdom as we unravel Koji's enchanting story and explore the powerful lessons hidden within. These teachings, deeply rooted in Buddhist philosophy, will challenge your perceptions and guide you toward achieving your deepest aspirations. Prepare to embark on a journey of enlightenment and find out how the secrets of Zen can unlock your potential. Number 1. Zen Motivational Story Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Buddha In a quaint village nestled at the foot of a towering hill, there lived a curious young boy named Koji. Ever inquisitive, Koji was always fascinated by the mysteries of life and yearned to uncover the answers to its profound questions. One fateful day, he heard tales of a wise Zen master residing at the pinnacle of the tallest hill in the village. Fueled by determination and a thirst for wisdom, Koji embarked on the arduous climb to find this revered sage. Upon reaching the serene Zen temple, he approached the master with bright eyes and a heart brimming with hope, asking, Master, how can I find Zen? The master, an elderly man with a kind smile and a glimmer of wisdom in his eyes, responded calmly, Ten years. Koji, undeterred by the time frame, pressed further. But master, what if I put in even more effort? How soon can I achieve Zen then? The master paused, contemplating Koji's question before replying, Twenty years. Perplexed but not discouraged, Koji continued, Master, what if I dedicate myself completely to the practice? How long would it take in that case? With a gentle nod, the master answered, Thirty years. Baffled by the increasing time frames, Koji couldn't conceal his confusion. Master, I don't understand. The harder I vow to work, the longer it seems to take. Why is that? The master looked at Koji with a serene smile and explained, When you have one eye fixed on the goal, you have only one eye on your path. Koji pondered the master's words, slowly unraveling the profound wisdom within them. He realized that focusing solely on the end result wouldn't bring him true enlightenment. Instead, he needed to embrace the journey, with all its challenges and moments of discovery. Imagine you are climbing a tall tree, aiming to reach the top where a ripe, juicy fruit awaits. If you constantly look up at the fruit, dreaming of how sweet it will taste, you might lose your balance and fall. Instead. Focus on each step as you climb. Pay attention to where you place your hands and feet. Feel the rough bark under your fingers and breathe in the fresh air around you. Relish the process of climbing, knowing that each step brings you closer to your goal. Life is much like climbing that tree. If you fixate too much on the reward, you might miss the beauty of the journey itself. Whether you are learning something new, honing a skill, or striving towards a goal, remember to cherish the effort you invest along the way. Enjoy the process, learn from it, and celebrate each step you take forward. For often, the true reward lies not in the destination, but in the journey itself. Number 2. Philosophical Reflections and Lessons from the Story Koji's journey with the Zen master is a profound narrative filled with timeless wisdom and valuable lessons 
that can deeply resonate with us in our daily lives. This tale is not just a story, it is a guide to achieving a more balanced, fulfilling and enlightened life. Let's delve into the philosophical reflections and lessons derived from Koji's experience to help us gain deeper insights and practical benefits. Koji's experience teaches us that true enlightenment and wisdom come from embracing the journey, not just fixating on the end goal. In life, it's essential to savor every moment, learn from each step, and appreciate the process. This approach enriches our experiences, allowing us to grow in ways that merely reaching the goal cannot provide. As Buddha wisely said, it is better to travel well than to arrive. This quote reminds us to enjoy the process of becoming and evolving rather than obsessing over the final destination. The Zen master's increasing time frames in response to Koji's eagerness highlight the importance of patience and persistence. True mastery and understanding take time and cannot be rushed. Just as a tree grows steadily and surely, our personal and spiritual growth requires time and dedication. This patience is echoed in the words of the Buddha. A jug fills drop by drop. Each small effort and moment of patience contributes to the overall growth and attainment of wisdom. The story underscores the importance of mindfulness. By focusing on each step Koji took while climbing, he could achieve his goal without losing balance. Similarly, in our daily lives, being present and attentive to each moment helps us stay grounded, make better decisions, and find joy in the mundane. Thich Nhat Hanh, a renowned Zen master, beautifully expressed this idea. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Practicing mindfulness allows us to live fully and deeply, enhancing our appreciation of life's simple pleasures. Koji's realization that having one eye on the goal limits his ability to focus on the path teaches us to let go of our obsession with results. Success is not just about achieving the end goal, but about the growth and learning that occur along the way. This mindset shift can lead to a more fulfilling and content life. As the Dalai Lama stated, remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. This quote encourages us to trust the process and embrace the unexpected lessons along the way. The quote, peace comes from within, do not seek it without, reminds us that true peace and happiness are found within ourselves, not in external achievements or validations. By cultivating inner peace, we become resilient and can handle life's challenges with grace and composure. This inner tranquility is the bedrock of a contented life and it allows us to face adversities with a calm and steady mind. The Buddha's teaching, better than a thousand hollow words, is one word that brings peace, emphasizes the profound impact of inner peace. Koji's journey symbolizes the idea that wisdom is often gained through experience rather than instruction. Each step he took, each moment of contemplation and each challenge faced contributed to his understanding of Zen. Similarly, our experiences shape our wisdom and character, teaching us lessons that no book or lecture can impart. Confucius aptly said, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. This quote underscores the irreplaceable value of experiential learning. By applying these lessons in our lives, we can find greater fulfillment and contentment. Let's remember to cherish each moment, stay patient, be mindful, seek inner peace, and value our experiences as we walk our paths. Each of these principles, when integrated into our daily routine, can transform our approach to life and enhance our overall well-being. Imagine yourself in Koji's place, climbing your own metaphorical mountain. Each step represents a choice, an action, a thought. 
The path may be steep and challenging, but with patience, mindfulness, and an open heart, the journey itself becomes a source of profound joy and wisdom. How can you apply these timeless teachings to your own life? Perhaps by starting with small mindful actions, embracing each moment as it comes, and trusting that every step you take is leading you towards greater wisdom and inner peace. What steps can you take today to embrace your journey more fully? How do you think you can apply the wisdom from Koji's journey with the Zen master to your own life? Comment number one, if you believe focusing on the process over the goal can bring you greater peace and fulfillment, or comment yes, if you are committed to embracing each step of your journey mindfully. Nine things you need to do to achieve anything, Buddhist teachings. Discover the timeless wisdom of Buddhism to unlock your potential and achieve anything you set your mind to. We delve into nine essential practices rooted in Buddhist teachings that will guide you on the path to success and fulfillment. Whether you're pursuing personal goals, professional ambitions or spiritual growth, these principles will empower you to overcome obstacles and realize your dreams. Embrace mindfulness, discipline and compassion as you embark on this transformative journey. 1. Set clear intentions. In the journey towards achieving anything meaningful, the first and crucial step is to set clear intentions. Buddhist teachings underscore the power of clear, mindful intentions as a cornerstone of success. The process begins with a profound understanding of what you truly want to accomplish. This means more than just jotting down goals. It involves a deep reflection on your values and principles. As Buddha wisely stated, the mind is everything, what you think you become. When your intentions are crafted with clarity and are in harmony with your core values, you establish a focused and purposeful direction for your efforts. Setting clear intentions involves a meticulous process of defining your goals with precision. It is not merely about stating what you want, but about understanding why you want it and how it aligns with your deeper beliefs. For instance, if your goal is to excel in your career, ask yourself how this ambition reflects your personal values or contributes to your overall life purpose. By aligning your goals with your fundamental principles, you transform your aspirations from mere wishes into a meaningful mission. Moreover, clear intentions act as a compass, guiding you through challenges and distractions. Imagine embarking on a journey without a map. The likelihood of straying from your path increases significantly. Similarly, without clear intentions, your efforts may lack direction and coherence. As the Dalai Lama once said, in order to carry a positive action, we must develop here a positive vision. This positive vision, your clear intention, provides a sense of direction and purpose, ensuring that your actions are consistently aligned with your desired outcomes. In modern life, setting clear intentions is more relevant than ever. With the constant bombardment of information and distractions, Having a well-defined purpose helps maintain focus and motivation. For example, in a professional setting, having a clear intention about your career goals can help you prioritize tasks, make strategic decisions, and remain resilient in the face of obstacles. It allows you to navigate the complexities of modern life with a sense of purpose and determination. Additionally, clear intentions foster a deeper sense of commitment and accountability. When you articulate your goals with clarity, you create a sense of personal responsibility for achieving them. This commitment transforms abstract desires into actionable steps. 
It's akin to making a solemn promise to yourself, where each action taken is a step towards fulfilling that promise. In summary, setting clear intentions is not just about defining what you want to achieve, but also about understanding why you want it and how it aligns with your core values. This approach provides direction, motivation and a sense of purpose, which are essential for overcoming challenges and realizing your goals. Embracing this practice in modern life enhances your ability to stay focused and committed, ultimately leading you towards a more fulfilling and purposeful journey. 2. Practice Mindfulness Mindfulness is not just a practice, but a profound way of engaging with life that lies at the heart of Buddhist teachings. Imagine living each moment with full awareness, being present in every action, thought and feeling. This is what mindfulness offers. When you cultivate mindfulness, you develop a keen understanding of your own thoughts and emotions, and this clarity becomes a powerful tool for personal transformation. The essence of mindfulness is simple. It's about staying grounded in the present moment. When you are mindful, you're not lost in regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. Instead, you are deeply engaged with the here and now, which allows you to make thoughtful and deliberate choices. Consider the story of a Zen master who was asked by a student, what is the most important thing in life? The master replied, when walking, just walk. When eating, just eat. At first, this answer seemed too simple, but as the student practiced being fully present in each action, they discovered a profound sense of peace and clarity. This story highlights the power of mindfulness. By focusing solely on the present task, you open yourself up to a deeper awareness and understanding of your actions and their consequences. Practicing mindfulness is not about achieving perfection, but about making incremental improvements in how you engage with life. Every moment of awareness you cultivate helps you to understand yourself better, leading to more conscious and intentional decisions. When you are fully present, you notice your reactions and emotions more clearly, allowing you to respond to situations with greater wisdom and compassion. Reflect on your own experiences. How often do you find yourself caught up in the busyness of life, missing out on the present moment? By incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine, you can begin to shift from automatic, reactive behavior to more deliberate and thoughtful actions. This shift not only enhances your personal growth, but also contributes to your overall well-being. The journey of mindfulness is ongoing and requires practice, but its rewards are immense. It teaches you to live more fully and authentically, leading to a more meaningful and balanced life. By staying present, you build a foundation for achieving your goals and navigating life's challenges with greater ease. In closing, remember that mindfulness is a practice of continually returning to the present moment. It is about engaging fully with each experience and learning to make conscious choices that align with your values and aspirations. As you embrace mindfulness, you'll find that it becomes easier to achieve your goals and lead a more fulfilling life. So how can you begin to incorporate mindfulness into your daily routine? What small steps can you take to become more present in your everyday activities? The answers to these questions can help you start your journey towards greater awareness and intentionality. 3. Embrace Discipline Absolutely! Let's delve into the concept of embracing discipline inspired by Buddhist teachings to help you achieve anything you set your mind to. Discipline is often regarded as the bridge between goals and accomplishments, and this notion is deeply rooted in both ancient wisdom and modern success strategies. 
discipline as the sturdy bridge that connects the shores of your aspirations with the land of your achievements. Without this bridge, the gap remains vast and impassable. Developing a disciplined approach to your daily routines and tasks is crucial. Consistent effort and commitment are the bedrock of turning dreams into reality. Consider the teachings of the Buddha who emphasized the importance of right effort. In the Noble Eightfold Path, right effort is one of the key components, highlighting the necessity of a disciplined mind and body in the pursuit of enlightenment. The Buddha said, a disciplined mind brings happiness. This wisdom underscores that discipline is not about rigid control, but about fostering a harmonious and focused approach to life. When you commit to a disciplined lifestyle, you align your actions with your values and goals, creating a seamless flow that propels you towards success. Let's take a closer look at what it means to be disciplined. It starts with setting clear, achievable goals. Without a destination, your efforts can become scattered and ineffective. Once your goals are set, break them down into manageable tasks. This makes the path forward less daunting and more attainable. Think of each task as a step on your journey. By focusing on completing each step with diligence and care, you move steadily towards your larger objective. This method not only makes the process less overwhelming, but also allows you to celebrate small victories along the way, keeping you motivated and engaged. Another essential aspect of discipline is creating a routine that supports your goals. This involves prioritizing tasks that matter most and dedicating time each day to work on them. The famous Zen monk Shunryu Suzuki said, the most important thing is remembering the most important thing. This quote reminds us that staying focused on our priorities is crucial. Design your day in a way that minimizes distractions and maximizes productivity. This might mean setting aside specific times for focused work, ensuring you get enough rest, and maintaining a balanced lifestyle that nurtures both your physical and mental well-being. Furthermore, discipline is about perseverance. It's easy to stay committed when things are going well, but true discipline shines through when faced with challenges. The Dhammapada, a collection of sayings of the Buddha states, endurance is one of the most difficult disciplines but it is to the one who endures that the final victory comes. This highlights the importance of resilience in the face of adversity. When setbacks occur, and they inevitably will, a disciplined person views them as temporary obstacles rather than insurmountable barriers. This perspective allows you to navigate difficulties with grace and emerge stronger on the other side. An often overlooked yet vital component of discipline is self-compassion. Being disciplined does not mean being harsh on yourself. It's about finding a balance between pushing yourself towards your goals and acknowledging your limits. Dich Nhat Hanh, a renowned Buddhist monk, taught that to love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. This means treating yourself with kindness and understanding, especially when you stumble. Recognize that mistakes are part of the learning process and use them as opportunities for growth rather than reasons for self-criticism. To truly embrace discipline, it's important to cultivate mindfulness. Mindfulness keeps you present and aware, allowing you to make conscious choices that align with your goals. When you are mindful, you notice when you are drifting away from your disciplined path and can gently steer yourself back. The Buddha said, Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. This timeless advice encourages us to stay focused on the here and now, where real progress happens. As you reflect on the role of discipline in your life, Consider this, 
How can you integrate these principles into your daily routine to achieve your goals? What small changes can you make today to become more disciplined? By embracing discipline, you not only move closer to your aspirations, but also cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and each step taken with discipline brings you closer to your dreams. How will you take that step today? 4. Practice Compassion Practicing compassion is a core tenet of Buddhist teachings and a crucial element in achieving anything meaningful in life. Compassion involves a deep awareness of the suffering of others coupled with the wish to relieve it. When we begin with self-compassion, we cultivate an inner environment of kindness and understanding. This foundation is essential because without self-compassion, we may find it difficult to extend genuine empathy to others. As the Buddha said, you yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Treating yourself with kindness means acknowledging your efforts, forgiving your mistakes and nurturing your well-being. This approach not only boosts your emotional resilience, but also encourages a positive mindset essential for growth and achievement. Extending compassion to others is equally transformative. It creates a supportive and harmonious community where individuals feel valued and understood. This sense of belonging fosters positive relationships, essential for personal and collective progress. When we act with compassion, we build trust and cooperation, which are the cornerstones of any successful endeavor. As modern life often isolates us, fostering compassion helps bridge the gap, bringing us closer to others and enabling us to work together towards common goals. Incorporating compassion into daily interactions can be as simple as offering a listening ear, a kind word or a helping hand. These small acts of kindness ripple outward, creating a more empathetic and supportive world. Moreover, compassion in leadership can inspire and motivate others, creating a collaborative and inclusive environment where everyone thrives. A compassionate leader understands the strengths and struggles of their team, providing guidance and support that fuels collective achievement. This leadership style aligns with the Buddhist principle of right intention, ensuring that our actions are driven by goodwill and the desire to alleviate suffering. Modern psychology also supports the benefits of compassion. Studies show that practicing compassion reduces stress, enhances emotional well-being and promotes overall health. It activates areas of the brain associated with reward and pleasure, making us feel happier and more fulfilled. Thus, compassion is not just a noble ideal, but a practical tool for enhancing our quality of life and achieving our aspirations. Furthermore, in our professional lives, compassion can transform workplaces into environments of mutual respect and collaboration. When employees feel understood and valued, their productivity and creativity soar. This compassionate culture fosters loyalty and reduces turnover, proving that empathy is a cornerstone of sustainable success. A famous quote by the Dalai Lama encapsulates this beautifully. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. Practicing compassion requires mindfulness and a genuine commitment to the well-being of oneself and others. It's about recognizing our shared humanity and the interconnectedness of all life. By embracing this principle, we not only contribute to the happiness of others, but also enhance our own lives. Compassion enriches our relationships, builds stronger communities and paves the way for achieving our goals in a way that is both fulfilling and sustainable. In conclusion, to achieve anything in life,
practicing compassion is indispensable. It starts with being kind to yourself, creating a foundation of self-respect and understanding and extends to treating others with empathy and support. This approach builds positive relationships and communities essential for any successful endeavor. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, let us remember the profound words of Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. By living compassionately, we align our actions with our highest values, ensuring that our journey towards success is not only rewarding, but also deeply enriching for ourselves and those around us. 5. Let go of attachments. To achieve anything in life, it's crucial to embrace the wisdom found in Buddhist teachings. One of the most transformative lessons is the concept of letting go of attachments. Imagine you're on a journey up a mountain. If you're solely focused on reaching the peak, you might miss the beauty of the path you are on, the lessons each step offers, and the strength you build with every stride. In Buddhism, the emphasis is on being present in each moment, on the journey rather than the destination. When we fixate on the end result, we often become stressed, anxious and rigid, closing ourselves off to new opportunities and experiences that might be even more rewarding than our initial goal. Consider the story of Prince Siddhartha, who later became the Buddha. Before his enlightenment, he lived a life of luxury, shielded from the sufferings of the world. However, upon witnessing the realities of life, aging, sickness, and death, he realized that his attachment to the comforts and pleasures of the palace only led to dissatisfaction and ignorance. Siddhartha renounced his royal life to seek true understanding and inner peace. Through years of meditation and self-discovery, he attained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree, not by clinging to the idea of becoming enlightened, but by letting go of all attachments, embracing the present moment fully and accepting whatever came his way. His journey teaches us that by releasing our grip on specific outcomes, we open ourselves to greater wisdom and profound fulfillment. In our modern lives, this principle can be applied in countless ways. For example, in your career, instead of obsessing over a promotion or a specific job title, immerse yourself in the work you do today, learn from every task, and cultivate your skills. By doing so, you become more resilient and adaptable, better equipped to seize unexpected opportunities. Similarly, in relationships, rather than clinging to expectations of how others should behave or how a relationship should progress, focus on appreciating the present interactions and growing together. This approach nurtures healthier, more genuine connections. Ask yourself, how often do you find stress creeping into your life due to fixations on specific outcomes? Do you notice a sense of anxiety when things don't go as planned? By shifting your mindset to embrace the journey and let go of rigid expectations, you allow space for peace and adaptability. It's about trusting the process and understanding that the universe often has plans beyond our immediate vision. This principle of non-attachment doesn't mean you should not have goals or aspirations. Instead, it encourages you to hold them lightly, to work towards them with dedication while being open to changes and new directions that life may present. The renowned Buddhist teacher Thich Nhat Hanh beautifully encapsulates this idea. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. When we release our attachments, we become more present, more aware of the richness of the current moment, and more capable of finding joy and contentment in our daily lives. Reflect on a time when you achieved something significant. 
Was the journey not filled with valuable lessons, experiences, and moments of growth? By letting go of the tight grip on the end result, you can find a deeper satisfaction and a more profound sense of achievement in the process itself. As you continue on your path to achieving your goals, remember to be like water, flexible and adaptable, flowing around obstacles rather than resisting them. Embrace the Buddhist teaching of non-attachment, focus on the journey, and open yourself to the boundless possibilities that each moment holds. By doing so, you will not only reduce stress, but also enhance your ability to navigate life's unpredictability with grace and wisdom. Now, let's ponder this together. How might your life change if you started to let go of your attachments and embraced each moment as it comes? How can you begin to practice non-attachment in your daily activities starting today? Remember, the journey itself holds as much, if not more, value than the destination. What lessons and experiences await you along the way? 6. Cultivate Patience Imagine yourself standing at the edge of a tranquil pond, the water still and calm, reflecting the clear sky above. This serene image embodies the essence of patience, a virtue that is often overlooked in our fast-paced world. Cultivating patience is akin to nurturing a delicate plant. It requires time, attention, and a deep understanding that growth does not happen overnight. Buddhist teachings emphasize that everything unfolds in its own time, much like the way a lotus blooms, slowly and steadily, emerging from the mud to reveal its beauty. When you embrace patience, you learn to trust the process and remain steadfast, even in the face of challenges and delays. Remember the words of the Buddha, a jug fills drop by drop. This quote reminds us that small, consistent efforts lead to significant outcomes over time. Patience is not just about waiting, it's about maintaining a positive attitude while you wait. It's about finding peace in the present moment, understanding that the universe has its own timing for everything. Reflect on your own life. How often have you felt frustrated by delays or setbacks? How did that frustration affect your actions and decisions? By cultivating patience, you transform your perspective. You begin to see obstacles not as insurmountable barriers, but as opportunities for growth and learning. This shift in mindset can be profoundly empowering, enabling you to navigate life's complexities with grace and resilience. Consider the story of Siddhartha Gautama, who became the Buddha, his journey was marked by years of searching, meditation, and unwavering patience. Despite numerous challenges, he remained committed to his path, understanding that enlightenment would come in its own time. This story teaches us that patience is not passive. It is an active, dynamic force that fuels perseverance and determination. It is the steady flame that keeps us moving forward even when the road ahead seems long and uncertain. In our modern lives, where instant gratification is often the norm, patience can feel like a rare commodity. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of impatience that we have the greatest opportunity to practice and strengthen this virtue. Think about a time when you rushed into a decision only to regret it later, how might the outcome have been different if you had taken a moment to pause, reflect, and allow events to unfold naturally? Patience teaches us to trust in the timing of our lives, to believe that what is meant for us will come, and that the journey itself is as important as the destination. The practice of patience also cultivates inner peace. When you are patient, you are not constantly striving or struggling against the flow of life. Instead, you move with it, allowing yourself to be guided by a deeper wisdom. 
This does not mean that you do nothing. Rather, it means that your actions are aligned with a sense of timing and purpose. As the Dhammapada, a collection of the Buddha's teachings states, Endurance is one of the most difficult disciplines, but it is to the one who endures that the final victory comes. This quote underscores the power of patience in achieving long-term success. Patience also enhances our relationships. When we are patient with others, we offer them the space to be themselves, to grow and learn at their own pace. This creates an environment of mutual respect and understanding, fostering deeper connections and more harmonious interactions. Reflect on a time when someone was patient with you. How did it make you feel? How did it impact your behavior and your relationship with that person? By extending the same patience to others, you contribute to a more compassionate and peaceful world. Finally, consider the role of patience in personal growth. Every skill you acquire, every habit you form, and every goal you achieve requires patience. It is the foundation upon which all progress is built. As you cultivate patience, you become more resilient, more adaptable, and more capable of handling life's challenges. You learn to appreciate the journey, to find joy in the small steps, and to trust that you are exactly where you need to be. So, how can you cultivate more patience in your life? Start by practicing mindfulness. Pay attention to your thoughts and feelings, especially in moments of frustration or impatience. Take deep breaths and remind yourself that everything is unfolding as it should. Engage in activities that require patience, such as gardening, meditation or crafting. Reflect on the teachings of the Buddha and other wise figures who have emphasized the importance of patience. And most importantly, be kind to yourself. Remember that cultivating patience is a journey in itself, one that requires time, effort and a compassionate heart. 7. Meditate regularly To achieve anything in life, especially for men aged 30 to 65, it is crucial to incorporate regular meditation into your daily routine. Meditation is not just a practice, it's a journey into your inner self. It is a powerful tool for achieving inner peace and clarity. The process of meditation allows you to center your mind, reduce distractions and connect deeply with your inner wisdom. This connection to your inner self is essential because in the hustle and bustle of modern life, we often lose touch with our core values and beliefs. Through meditation, you can regain this connection, which in turn enhances your ability to make informed decisions and stay on track. Meditation, as taught by Buddha, is like a lamp that dispels the darkness of ignorance. As Buddha once said, meditation brings wisdom, lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward and what holds you back, and choose the path that leads to wisdom. This wisdom is not just philosophical, but practical, helping you navigate through life's challenges with a calm and focused mind. In today's world, where distractions are abundant and the pressures of work, family and social obligations can be overwhelming, regular meditation acts as a sanctuary for your mind. It provides a space where you can retreat, reflect and recharge. To make meditation a regular practice, start with just a few minutes each day. Find a quiet place, sit comfortably and focus on your breath. Notice how your breath flows in and out and gently bring your mind back to this focal point whenever it wanders. Over time, you can increase the duration of your sessions. The key is consistency. Just as physical exercise strengthens the body, Regular meditation strengthens the mind. It builds mental resilience, enhances emotional regulation, 
and fosters a deep sense of inner peace. Imagine starting your day with a clear and calm mind, unburdened by the stress and worries that usually cloud your thoughts. This clarity not only improves your mental well-being, but also boosts your productivity and decision-making abilities. When your mind is clear, you can see situations more objectively and make choices that align with your true self. Moreover, meditation helps you develop a greater sense of self-awareness. This self-awareness is crucial for personal growth and achieving your goals. By understanding your thoughts, emotions and behaviours, you can identify patterns that may be holding you back and take proactive steps to change them. This process of self-discovery and transformation is at the heart of Buddhist teachings. As Thich Nhat Hanh, a renowned Buddhist monk, said, the mind can go in a thousand directions, but on this beautiful path, I walk in peace. With each step, the wind blows. With each step, a flower blooms. This quote beautifully captures the essence of meditation. It's about finding peace and beauty in each moment, no matter how chaotic life may seem. In addition to the mental benefits, meditation also has profound physical benefits. Studies have shown that regular meditation can lower blood pressure, improve sleep quality, and boost the immune system. By reducing stress, it also lowers the risk of stress-related illnesses, such as heart disease and anxiety disorders. For men in the 30 to 65 age group, these health benefits are particularly important. As we age, maintaining good physical health becomes crucial for overall well-being and longevity. By incorporating meditation into your daily routine, you are taking a proactive step towards a healthier, happier life. To relate this to modern life, think of meditation as a mental workout. Just as you schedule time for physical exercise to keep your body fit, schedule time for meditation to keep your mind fit. In the same way that a fit body performs better, a fit mind performs better too. It handles stress more effectively, thinks more clearly, and makes better decisions. Making meditation a regular part of your life is one of the most powerful steps you can take to achieve anything. It equips you with the mental clarity, emotional stability, and inner peace needed to navigate life's challenges and pursue your goals with confidence. As you meditate regularly, you will find yourself more focused, more aware, and more in tune with your true self. This inner transformation will reflect in all areas of your life, helping you achieve not just your goals, but a deeper sense of fulfillment and happiness. So, take a deep breath, find a quiet spot, and begin your meditation journey today. Your future self will thank you for it. 8. Seek Wisdom to achieve anything significant in life, it's crucial to continuously seek wisdom. This principle, deeply rooted in Buddhist teachings, emphasizes the importance of lifelong learning and the pursuit of knowledge from diverse sources. Think of wisdom as a guiding light, illuminating the path ahead and helping you make sound decisions even in the face of challenges. When we look to Buddhist scriptures, we find a wealth of knowledge passed down through generations, offering timeless insights into the human experience. But wisdom isn't confined to ancient texts. It can be found in the teachings of wise mentors, the lessons of personal experiences, and the shared stories of others. Consider the story of Buddha's disciple, Ananda, known for his incredible memory and dedication to preserving the Buddha's teachings. Despite his vast knowledge, Ananda remained humble and continued to seek wisdom throughout his life. He understood that learning is an endless journey and even the wisest individuals have more to discover. 
This mindset allowed him to grow and adapt, ultimately becoming a revered figure in Buddhism. In your own life, adopting a similar approach can lead to profound personal growth. Seek out mentors who can offer guidance, read widely, and reflect on your experiences to extract valuable lessons. Engage in conversations with others who can provide different perspectives and don't shy away from challenging your own beliefs. Wisdom is not just about accumulating facts. It's about understanding how to apply knowledge in practical, meaningful ways. Ask yourself, how often do you actively seek new knowledge? Are you open to learning from those around you? Or do you resist perspectives that challenge your existing beliefs? Engaging with these questions can help you identify areas where you can expand your wisdom and become more adaptable in your pursuits. Furthermore, let's delve into a story from the Buddhist tradition to illustrate the power of wisdom. There once was a wise and respected monk named Saka who lived in a small village. One day, a young man came to Saka, troubled by his inability to find peace and success in his life. The monk listened patiently and then handed the young man a simple, empty bowl. This bowl represents your mind, Saka said. To fill it with the nectar of wisdom, you must first empty it of preconceived notions and arrogance. Only then can you truly learn and grow. The young man took the monk's words to heart. He began to approach life with an open mind, seeking wisdom from every experience and every person he encountered. Over time, he found that his decisions became more informed, his actions more effective, and his mind more peaceful. The wisdom he gained guided him through life's challenges, leading him to success and fulfillment. This story highlights a crucial aspect of seeking wisdom, the need for humility and openness. To truly learn, we must be willing to admit that we don't have all the answers and that there is always room for growth. By emptying our minds of arrogance and embracing the wisdom of others, we pave the way for continuous improvement and deeper understanding. As you navigate your own journey, remember that wisdom is a compass that can guide you through uncertainty and complexity. It helps you see beyond immediate obstacles and make choices that align with your long-term goals and values. So, make a conscious effort to seek wisdom daily. Read books that challenge your thinking, engage in meaningful conversations, and reflect on your experiences to distill valuable insights. Ultimately, the pursuit of wisdom is a lifelong endeavor that enriches every aspect of your life. It empowers you to overcome challenges, make informed decisions, and achieve your highest aspirations. How will you embrace this journey of continuous learning and wisdom seeking in your own life? Reflect on this question and let it guide you toward a path of growth and fulfillment. 9. Act with right effort. Imagine for a moment, standing on a serene mountainside, the air crisp and filled with the sound of a gentle breeze rustling through the trees. In this tranquil setting, picture yourself embarking on a journey toward your greatest aspirations, guided by the timeless teachings of Buddhism. One of the most crucial steps in this journey is embracing the principle of right effort. Right effort a fundamental aspect of the Noble Eightfold Path invites you to channel your energy into positive and constructive actions. It's not just about working hard, but about working wisely and mindfully. By dedicating yourself to right effort, you strike a delicate balance between diligence and restfulness, ensuring that your progress is both steady and sustainable. Think about your daily life filled with tasks and responsibilities that often seem overwhelming. Now, envision approaching these tasks with a sense of purpose and mindfulness. Instead of rushing through them, you focus on doing each task well, 
paying attention to the details and taking pride in your work. This is the essence of right effort. It's about directing your energy towards activities that bring about positive change and growth, both for yourself and for those around you. As the Buddha said, an idea that is developed and put into action is more important than an idea that exists only as an idea. By applying right effort, you transform your aspirations into reality through mindful and purposeful actions. Right effort also teaches you to avoid actions that lead to negative outcomes. It encourages you to be vigilant against thoughts and behaviors that might harm you or others. This vigilance isn't about being harsh on yourself, but about nurturing a mindset that fosters kindness, compassion and wisdom. Consider the times when negative thoughts or feelings have held you back. What if, instead of giving in to them, you recognized them for what they are and chose to redirect your energy towards something positive? This practice can be transformative, leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Moreover, right effort is not about constant exertion without rest. It's about finding a rhythm that works for you, one that includes periods of rest and rejuvenation. Just as a farmer alternates between planting and harvesting, you too need to balance your efforts with mindful rest. This ensures that you don't burn out and that you can continue to make progress over the long term. Incorporating right effort into your life also means being persistent and resilient. There will be challenges and setbacks along the way, but with right effort, you learn to view these obstacles as opportunities for growth. Instead of becoming discouraged, you see each setback as a chance to learn and improve. This mindset of continuous improvement is crucial for achieving your goals. It aligns with the Buddhist teaching that the only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. By staying true to your values and consistently applying right effort, you build a foundation of integrity and perseverance. As you navigate your journey, remember that right effort isn't a solitary endeavor. It's about connecting with others, sharing your journey and supporting each other along the way. Engaging with a community of like-minded individuals can provide the encouragement and accountability you need to stay on track. This sense of community is a powerful motivator and can help you maintain your commitment to positive actions. Imagine discussing your progress with friends or family, exchanging insights and celebrating each other's successes. This collective effort amplifies your individual efforts and creates a ripple effect of positive change. Now let me ask you, how can you begin to incorporate right effort into your life today? What small changes can you make to ensure that your actions are aligned with your values and goals? Think about the areas of your life where you might be expending energy on unproductive or harmful activities. How can you redirect that energy towards something more constructive? By contemplating these questions and taking small, mindful steps, you can start to embody the principle of right effort and move closer to achieving anything you set your mind to. In conclusion, right effort is about more than just working hard. It's about working mindfully, balancing effort with rest, being persistent in the face of challenges and engaging with a supportive community. By embracing this principle, you align your actions with your highest aspirations and create a path to sustainable and meaningful progress. Remember the wisdom of the Buddha. No matter how hard the past, you can always begin again. Each moment offers a new opportunity to practice right effort and move towards your goals with clarity and purpose. By integrating these nine Buddhist practices into your daily life, you can cultivate a mindset and lifestyle conducive to achieving anything you desire. Remember that the journey itself is as important as the destination, 
Embrace each step with mindfulness, patience and compassion and watch as your aspirations transform into reality. Thank you for joining us on this journey of enlightenment and wisdom. Koji's story and the lessons we've explored remind us of the importance of embracing the journey, practicing patience, mindfulness and compassion, and letting go of rigid attachments. By integrating these teachings into your daily life, you can cultivate a mindset that not only leads to achieving your goals, but also brings inner peace and fulfillment. If you found this video inspiring, please like, share and subscribe to The Journey of Wisdom. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss our upcoming videos filled with more insightful stories and teachings. Thank you for being a part of our community and we look forward to sharing more wisdom with you. How will you start embracing your journey today? Share your thoughts in the comments below.